Hi, my name is Ranveer Brar. Uh, I'm a chef by profession. That's what I started out to be and very happy to be uh, a chef. I'm told that I have to speak about my life lessons, my life journey. So I was born um, in Lucknow. You know, uh, dad was an aeronautical engineer. He was a gold medalist in IIT. And um, he realized that he did not want to do farming anymore. Um, engineering was his calling and he moved to, from Kanpur, he moved to Lucknow. Uh, he set up the first, helped set up the first indigenous landing gear injection seats. Uh, I was born in that family of farmers, engineers. Um, but what I, what I grew up realizing was that, uh, you know, a farmer at heart is always a farmer at heart. Grandfather, in spite of being in Lucknow, took six odd acres just to, just to make sure that we were always around, uh, around farmlands. Um, I think that's, that helped develop a good, strong connect to food. When you connect to food at an ingredient level, the connect is much deeper. You feel more strongly for your medium. Growing up, in like in any other Punjabi joint family, most of the conversations are around food. And when you are a joint family, a lot of running around that you do as the youngest kid in the family is also for food. Sometimes you're, you're going to grab the, um, the groceries, sometimes you go grab some other stuff. And uh, that was my first education, running around to buy um, stuff. Kabhi chai patti khatam ho gai, kabhi chini khatam ho gai, kabhi mirchi khatam ho gai. So, you know, wo padaus ka jo parchun wala hota hai, uske baad sabse ghar ke chote bachche ko beja jata hai, right? Uh, and that's where it sort of started, I feel it started building in for me. And then uh, being a Fauji family, a Sunday Gurdwara culture is, is, is a must. That Sunday Gurdwara culture brought in the whole idea of langar and what it could uh, what it could do to a large community of people, bring them together, the joy of cooking in large quantities, all that really, really excited me. And then as you grow up, you understand that beyond the community, there is this beautiful city of Lucknow. And you cannot but not fall in love with food if you are born in Lucknow and brought up in Lucknow. At some point in time, it gets to you. So it did get to me as well, the city uh, and its passion for food got to me. In, that's when I decided that this is what I really want to do. This is my calling. Um, also, there was a big bit of the, the rebel in you, right? That, no, I don't want to be an engineer. I don't want to be the cliche doctor, engineer, IAS officer. At that point in time, India in the 90s, these were the top three professions. The, the need to do something different and not sort of fit in was the overarching factor and food just seemed to be the right calling at that point in time. Chose to be a chef. Not a profession that everybody understood. We're talking about India in the mid uh, 90s. Um, took some time explaining the profession. Uh, the inertia was there from the parents, you know. Eventually everybody got it. Um, I, I've worked with some street vendors, went through some really harsh education just to prove to my parents that this is what I really want to do and it's not just a fad that'll, um, that'll go with time. Um, that is basically how it started for me professionally trained to be a chef and that's when the fun started. Uh, this industry, uh, you know, there's this passion for cooking and then there is this business of food and the business of food is very demanding. It's physically demanding, it's laborious, it's uh, at that point in time, you know, when I passed out of college, there were 40 odd hotels and that's about it. So you basically had only 40 positions of executive chefs open at some point in time, you just hoped that some position would open up somewhere. And uh, so it wasn't the most um, easily accessible industry, you know, uh, you really had to work your way through it. And I loved that. I loved uh, the fact that I could just spend as much time as I wanted. Hotels were 24 hours. People really wouldn't mind me helping them out. So I could just spend as much time as I wanted. Those were the formative years and they helped me form into the chef, get a personality. And that personality is very, very important when it comes to you being a cook. Uh, I think cooking is a medium of expression. Until you find your expression, it's very, very difficult to distinguish yourself. I was fortunate to do that very early in life and I became an executive chef when I was 25. Got bored pretty early and that's when life started um, happening. That's when the lessons started happening. Till then everything was fine, whatever Ranveer was touching was turning into gold and then he decides this is it. I want to move to the US and open my own restaurant and the reality sinks in. The reality is that US doesn't know and really doesn't care about who Ranveer is. So Ranveer is to slog all over again. The first restaurant shuts down. Um, the recession hits at the same time and here we are. We are 
out on the streets fighting for <laughs> survival, right from being the guy with the Midas touch in India. That's when the reality sank in. Uh, I was out on the streets, homeless for 13 odd days, and that's when I realized that this business is as cruel as any other business, and I really need to invest myself more, invest myself more into not just the chef I am, but also the business side of things. Fortunately, uh, I had invested a lot in people and those people pulled me back. We created some restaurants together. Uh, ten of them still exist in Boston. For me, the biggest learning at that point in time was uh, the biggest investment that you can do in good or bad time is invest in people, invest in relationships uh, and the quality of relationships. Also, sometimes as chefs, we get carried away with our expression and just believe that the world will just accept whatever we have to say. It doesn't work like that. It's important to hear first, speak later in the business of food. Uh, that's one learning that I took. Uh, moved back from the US back to India. Dad was diagnosed with cancer, went through some, you know, um, some interesting personal times. And then when I moved back, um, there was this conversation about food television and I was a very, very hesitant entrant into the world of food television. I look at my first show and I would hardly look at the camera. I would just look down and cook and that's, that's, all, that, and that's all that I did. Um, eventually, I think, made friends with this, this medium as well. Um, I think the stronger belief that drives me and that drove me to accepting and performing uh, was the fact that if you're a chef, you're an artist first and you have to believe that expression is paramount. Uh, I look at I look at the camera, I look at my videos, my performances as as another avenue for expression, and that's how it becomes easy. So in a way, if you've trained to be a certain professional, you end up being more than that, and it just becomes a part of your life. Being a chef, you can't really separate it from me. And after a point in time, those professional lessons become life lessons. That's the life that I'm living right now. Wasn't easy adapting to television and running restaurants at the same time, but again. The initial lessons of believing in uh, the fact that there are 24 hours in a day and if you want, you can utilize the most, the only person who's sort of stopping you from making the most of the time that you have with you yourself. That helps me today when I'm trying to do different things at, at, at different point in time. There is the business side of things, there's the analytics and I call it the MBA side of things, you know, and yet uh, there is always the intuitive side of, side of things. You really need to find a balance between both. I'm fighting that fight, but I think it's very, very important to intuitively look at the, look at the crystal glass and, and uh, understanding that sometimes going with the flow is also as important as having a strategy, a plan, short-term, long-term goals in place. Uh, the world around us is changing so fast that a lot of times what becomes important is for us to understand the space we are flowing in and a lot of times plans have to change, strategies have to change because the world is changing so fast and that's what I'm doing. I cook, I cook for television, I cook on the digital medium and I look at all that as an extension of who I am. After a point in time, uh, I think that that's what takes over, who we are takes over, um, what we want to be or what do we want or uh, you know at the end of the day sometimes being a human being takes over a human want or a human need. And that's basically the journey that I'm trying to be on. Look, if we talk about the if we talk about lessons in life that, that I've learned, so some things that have come to me have been very big. One is that if you are very comfortable and if your path is normal, then there is something wrong. You know, um, a little bit of discomfort is important. Chahe, आप के प्रोफेशन में हो चाहे आपकी चॉइसेस में हो ऑब्वियस चॉइसेस जो है ना वो ऑब्वियस रिजल्ट्स देती हैं जब हमने काम शुरू किया तो यू नो द ऑब्वियस चॉइस वाज अ डॉक्टर इंजीनियर आईएएस ऑफिसर यू नो दिस वाज नॉट एन ऑब्वियस चॉइस सो इफ टुडे बीइंग अ शेफ इज एन ऑब्वियस चॉइस आई थिंक यू नो वी नीड टू सॉर्ट ऑफ डिग अ लिटिल डीपर फाइंड व्हाट दैट अदर कॉलिंग कैन बी दूसरी चीज ये है कि कल की दुनिया जो थी येस्टरडेस वर्ल्ड वाज अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ नॉलेज नॉलेज वाज डिफिकल्ट यू नो इंटरनेट वाजंट देयर बहुत दौड़ भाग करनी पड़ती थी यू टू रन अराउंड फॉर रेसिपीज यू टू सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो टेक लाइब्रेरी मेंबरशिप्स और उस्तादों से पूछो ये करो वो करो टूडेज वर्ल्ड इज अ वर्ल्ड विजडम नॉलेज सब तरफ है उसको इस्तेमाल कैसे करना है और वॉट पीस ऑफ नॉलेज एंड हाउ डू यू अप्लाई इट 
is, is the wisdom that's become important in today's world. So if you're starting off, you know, don't make the obvious choices. Choose wisely. Right? And don't say top shelf answers. Ko ek bar na bolo. And the third, I think, the world is easy. The world is easy. The world might seem the easiest. We might be surrounded by air conditioners and easy information, easy knowledge. Eventually, the last man standing will always win. So, the will be very important to stay standing. Today or today, I think that uh, these are basic fundamentals. I'd say that I feel worked yesterday and will work till we want to excel in life. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.